Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Kimberly's Room Makeover. Today we are back in Oakville at Sam and Susan's place designing their master bedroom. This couple has been married for over 25 years. I was really pleasantly shocked to see when I walked into their master bedroom that they had a brass bed that my mother had sold them way back when they first got married and when we were at square one. So when I first came into this room, again I saw that brass bed and a red wall, oh my god it was crazy, and black furniture and I guess back in the day 25 years ago that was really hot and cool and fashion forward but right now that's not how this couple was feeling. They wanted a relaxing retreat, very spa-like, uh, creams and whites and really nice neutral soft taupe colors. They want to feel relaxed when they walked into this room, not irritated and agitated by a red wall. Because there is a husband who's also using this room, we have to take his feelings into account. Sam did not want a room that was too girly and I totally get it. Uh, Susan really wanted mirror reared furniture. Sam wasn't so excited about it. So what we decided to do was find a combination of both. The, these linen pieces combined with mirror and champagne finish work into the whole color story. Still tone down the mirrored furniture so it's not so blingy. Both spouses are happy and this room still looks cohesive, uh, well designed, and not too feminine. Another requirement for this project was storage. A lot of us need storage. These guys needed it in spades because their walk-in closet, although their bedroom was quite large, their walk-in closet was minuscule. And both of these, this couple, do like to have quite a bit of wardrobe. So what I did was we took this wall that previously had a dresser on it, created some millwork. So what this is is a standalone closet. It's actually a built-in and it has shelves, adjustable shelves, and it has two rows of um, racks to hang your clothes on. Uh, the husband, Sam, has now taken this part over and all his clothes are neatly tucked away in here. And Susan now has the whole walk-in closet to herself. Hope it's enough room for you, Susan. Another space-saving storage trick we have are the beds from Van Gogh that have storage right underneath the bed. They're, they're simple to lift. With one hand, you can do it. And you can put either seasonal clothing in there or jackets or bedding or tablecloths or anything that you have excess of that you don't need. The beauty of this storage is that when you lift it, it doesn't wreck the way your bed looks. So all the pillows stay intact and in place. It's amazing. So in this little area, this is the area between their master bed and the bathroom. Uh, the closet is just off to the side. This area really wasn't utilized very well. They had a high boy chest of drawers, no seating. Um, really it wasn't used for anything much. So what I did, because we had this recessed area here, which is the bay window, uh, we put in six drawer dresser because Susan, of course, needs a lot of storage. So this is for her. And I wanted to do two chairs. Susan likes to read, so does Sam. Wanted them to have a space where they could hang out together and quiet. Uh, instead of doing just two chairs, we decided to do chair and a half. Now, this space is not very wide. It's probably only about eight feet wide. But yet, they don't need a lot of walking space in this area, so I decided two chair and a half, they could cuddle up, uh, put their feet up, curl up in a ball, lie down, an ottoman in the middle, it grounds the space, but also it's storage as well, it opens up, they can put their feet up, a tray down, they could have a cup of tea, it just becomes a nice little sanctuary for the both of them, very small like. They had shears uh, wall to wall basically in this space. We decided to put silhouettes, Hunter Douglas silhouettes in here with some linen curtains. Uh, very beautiful. The silhouettes give them 100% privacy and the linen just really ties into the taupe linen that's on the front of the chest. It's a nice texture to marry into this whole uh, area and we just love it. It's spa-like, it's clean, simple, but very elegant. Before I did the master bedroom, they asked me advice on designing their master bath. Uh, the master bath was original to the house, very old school, step up tub, small little stall shower, and a single vanity sink, uh, very old finishes inside. They really needed just to gut it and start all over. When redesigning the bathroom, we had to move around th some things because we did want a double vanity sink for them. So what we did is we moved the door, we created a bigger shower stall somewhere else in the room with the tub right beside it, and now they have a double vanity, a toilet, 
a shower, and a tub in a spa-like setting with white marble tiles. They're not actually marble, they look like marble. They're porcelain, so they're super easy to keep clean and it's not porous, so they won't get damaged. Uh, with crystal, crystal fixtures, the whole room just looks beautiful, light, airy, and relaxing. Their whole reno project ended up being so beautiful that these guys love to spend time in their bedroom now. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Kimberly's Room Makeover. Big thanks to Sam and Susan for letting the, us into their beautiful home in Oakville. It was an absolute blast and a pleasure. I absolutely love this project. It's one of my favorite for 2016. Uh, big thank you to everyone back at the office and Sam and Melissa and Courtney and Helenka and everyone back there who makes this all possible. Couldn't do it without you guys. Stay tuned next week, same time, same place, and don't forget, live with things you love.